yo what is good with y'all in today's video i got how to make souls rng or just generally an rng game in roblox this is part three or yeah this is part three and stuff this, as you can tell by the title i made general improvements added a couple things changed what a couple things are and stuff so i heard you guys suggestions and just generally things you wanted me to add change whatnot so i'm gonna go ahead and get into those some of those changes include um now you have an overhead aura like it like Oh, like you know how overhead you have a ui that tells you what aura you have equipped um and i made some other changes i'm gonna just point them out as we go go along and stuff but thank you guys for 8,000 subscribers i really do appreciate it on the way to 10,000. hopefully we get 10,000 by the you know by the time summer starts and yeah let's go ahead and get straight into it okay <clears throat> so if you haven't already watched part one and part two of souls rng go watch those first two parts because as you can see i clearly have a whole bunch of stuff set up but let's go ahead and get straight into it okay so the first thing i want to do is i'm going to create a billboard gui so that we can have our overhead ui so that we can have it where it's above our player's head and it shows our uh the current aura we have equipped so i'm gonna head on over to server storage and i'm gonna insert a billboard gui i'm gonna rename said billboard gui to aura gui right <clears throat> as for the properties you're gonna go down here for sizing you're gonna do three comma zero comma 0 0.75 comma 0 boom right and then for the studs offset you're going to do 0 comma 2.3 comma 0 right so 2.3 then we're going to insert a um oh actually oh yeah make sure oh by the way uh well actually eh, this doesn't really i guess it doesn't really matter yeah i guess they're in actually yeah never mind, never mind. <clears throat> So yeah, so then you're going to go ahead and insert a text label into the aura GUI, right? And then you're going to set the name of the text label to aura text label, right? And then set background transparency equal to one. Um, as for the sizing, you know, you want this to be one comma zero, comma one comma zero, right? And then, you know, bold scale text, you know, uh, bold rich text whatever whatever you want right then i'm gonna change the text color to white and then boom we've set that we set up the overhead ui now we can get to the actual scripting right so let's move on to the local script okay so first things first let's scroll all the way down here right because i'm going to add a new event to the on client event function on client event function right so i'm going to put a comma r2 because we're going to send over a second argument so we're going to go after this after the uh or variable and then we're going to create a second variable this is going to be last role which is equal to argument two so i saw multiple people complaining about how um what's it called about how people were able to equip or skip auras like mid roll and stuff since the buttons would appear so we're going to change that right we're going to fix that so you're going to want to highlight the equip button and skip button portion copy that control c then delete that right then we're going to want to scroll down to after the roll tween has finished or just or just after the roll tween function i should say and then you're going to set an if statement you're going to say if last roll is equal to true pretty much we're going to send over a boolean that which is true set to true and stuff when the last roll is finished so that the players are now able to choose if they want to equip the or or skip the or this is so that players can equip or skip literally mid roll so enter then you're going to copy and paste or we're you just really gonna paste what you had and stuff right so we're gonna make those visible at the end right and then we can um really scroll down here after that and then we're going to add one more event or actually let me do this let me click the arrow here then enter else if event type is equal to quotation marks are joined so for this this event will be for whenever a player joins the game as well as whenever the player uh dies and stuff i'm also going to call this function this is pretty much so that a player's aura, aura and their or uh overhead ui will be automatically equipped and added every time well one when they join the game and every time they die after that and stuff right because currently the way i have it is when you join the game you can equip the aura you have saved but you don't have it where it automatically is you know the last aura you had saved that thing so i'm gonna do core event by your server in quotation marks the name of the event will be equip or you guys remember we're just calling it we're literally calling the same exact event and then we're going to say player dot current or dot value we're going to send that over right boom we're done with the changes in the local script then we can open up the core script server side right and then for here we're going to just go down here we're going to go after the data stores 
then we're gonna um set up an if statement. I'm gonna set up gonna say if, if player dot current Victor dot value is nil equal to blank quotation marks. This pretty much means the player has an aura equipped, right? So if that's you know if it's if they have an aura equipped, then we're gonna say equipment fire client singular player quotation marks joined, right? So you pretty much you're firing from the server side to the client side, which is gonna fire back to fire the equip aura event. So we'll be able to equip the last uh, aura we had. Right now, I'm going to create the aura GUI. I'm going to say local aura GUI. Then we're going to reference it. You get to game that server stores at aura GUI. You're going to clone it. You're then going to say aura GUI text label dot text is equal to player dot current aura dot value. Then lastly, you're going to say aura dot parent is equal to player dot character dot head. Right. Then you're going to set up a function for whenever a player dies. You're going to say player dot character added connect function, right? In parentheses, put character enter. And then you're just going to copy and paste this. You're just going to control C, control V, and then you're also going to control C this as well. Control C, control V at the end. Then you're just going to change this simply just because um we already have the uh character. We have the character, so we're just saving ourselves some, some time there. So boom, character, and then yeah. So we are done with that part. Then I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to adjust the role function. So I'm going to do this, right? We're going to copy this and then delete it, right? I'm going to go here and then press enter. I'm going to say else, enter, then paste this here. You remember this whole thing where if i is equal to five, pretty much the last number here. And so pretty much what this means whenever you're on your last roll, it's going to, we're going to do this. We're going to, um, Put where it sends over the boolean so that the players know, okay, this is the last roll. They're now able to equip or skip the aura, right? So yeah, we're gonna just have this here. Then you're gonna top, you're gonna paste it here again, control V. This time you're just gonna put a comma after the I2 and put true. So that you know it knows that okay, this is the final aura. The player should now be given the option to either equip this aura or skip the aura, right? So boom there, we are done with that. Then scroll down. And then um, I just copy and pasted the or this is simply so that we can update the or thing and stuff. So scroll down all the way here. You, you literally just want to go to the, literally the complete end, right? And then you're just going to wait. Actually, wait, no, that might actually be out of the thing. Yeah, sorry. That's actually out of the thing. It's supposed to be above two ends, but yeah. So we're going to create a variable for the or GUI. Or GUI is equal to character dot head dot or GUI, right? You're going to say or GUI that aura oh sorry you're gonna say aura gui dot aura text label dot text is equal to aura so this is that it'll automatically update the aura and stuff whenever a player equips a new aura right so boom we added a couple new things added overhead ui so it now shows what aura the player has equipped made it so that the players can't sk skip or equip aura if they're currently you know rolling and made it so that when a player um joins the game or dies they uh the aura is automatically re-equipped and stuff right so let's go ahead and test to make sure everything works and then maybe i think i'll do cooldowns in part five or wait sorry no part four yeah, this is part three so yeah let's go ahead and test to make it okay and something is not working current character oh oh my bad guys my bad my bad Please don't make, please tell me you guys did not make the same mistake I made. I keep, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of tired and I just recorded the Battleground series. That's why I thought this was Battleground. Sorry, I meant current aura, not current character. That's from the Battleground series if you watch the, okay, current aura. So if I rejoin, you got, or GY is not a, uh, but that's weird because it should have created the whole point. Oh, wait. Oh, I just realized. Hmm. Thing is, it should be. Oh, wait. Oh, I just realized. Wait, or a folder. Wait, huh? I'm so confused. Or do I? Oh, oh, my bad, guys. My bad. Like I said, I'm kind of tired. It's two, it's 2 in the morning. My bad. I meant or do There we go. So, yeah, just. Fix those mistakes if you made the same mistakes as me. 
and boom okay as always if you guys want access to any one of my scripts or models you guys can become either a channel member or a discord subscriber link to either one of those options can be found in the description and yeah there we I just realized where's the spawn oh I, I guess i forgot to put it back but anyway guys as you guys can see we have one we spawned in we automatically have our aura and it's overhead and stuff now if i roll and then i can equip boom it automatically changes if i reset my player's character okay there is clearly a glitch oh okay there's clearly good just clearly some glitches but anyway um as you guys can see with the roll system though you can see i can only skip or equip once i get to the final roll now what is this other glitch character to head or gy is not a valid member of part workspace that head what did you put? Mm. Huh. that's weird oh wait oh wait let me guess i did the same exact thing i think i did the same yep there we go because i copy and pasted it that's why i did the same exact thing there see this is why testing is essential i make little mistakes and then the whole thing just doesn't work okay so let me get the rare rare aura back then let me reset there we go no auras i mean no <laughs> no auras no errors and I, I have it equipped there we go very nice very nice and then as you guys can see it also updates when i switch via the storage system so yeah if you guys have been enjoying the um soul rng system soul rng series i've been enjoying it honestly and stuff definitely just leave a like and subscribe let me know you enjoyed the video if there's any bugs you find or any suggestions you have let, leave them in the comments and i will and i possibly might add them so now if it's a bug i'll clearly fix it but suggesting i'll probably add it and stuff let me know what you guys want to see i'll continue the series as long as the video gets gets lots of love and yeah thank you guys for all the love and support you have shown on my channel really do appreciate it and i will see you guys in the next video thank you for watching